The reason that we're looking at this account is we're trying to understand what is going on with this person. First of all, it should be stated that she's an excellent actor. She plays so many different roles and uses all different kinds of accents. And a while back on YouTube, she made a video saying that she had been sexually assaulted when she was a younger person. And my heart kind of went out to her. But then I started to look a little bit closer. And now I'm not convinced that it ever even happened. Now, the reason I say that is because typically if you have been sexually assaulted, you will usually feel that that was a terrible thing and you would not want it to happen to anyone else. But when I talked to Chris and I asked her to please stop eating animals because in the dairy industry, for example, the cows are sexually assaulted, she didn't really seem to care about that. So I... First of all, saying that is the most fucked up degenerate thing. You are a fucking subhuman. I don't know how the hell you manage to function? Be Who the fuck ever says that to someone that's been sexually assaulted? You just don't say that to someone. What the hell? Oh, you know, I'm not convinced because I say that animals are sexually assaulted when they're not. So, since you don't have any sympathy for things that are not being sexually assaulted, then... Ah, never happened to you. Never happened. Stop making up lies. D does she realize that when you're... Okay, does she realize when, when you say that to someone that's actually went through the horrors of being assaulted? You realize how much that would hurt? Like, okay, so you go through the most horrible, traumatic thing in your life. And then you just got some cunt on the internet saying, oh, I don't believe that because you don't have a sympathy for animals that are not being sexually assaulted on farms. Absolute fucking degeneracy. Holy shit. Her sexual assault seems to be some, all that matters. But if others are sexually assaulted, well, that doesn't seem to matter to her at all. So, when you say, this vegan teacher, when you say, animals are being sexually assaulted, when they're, when they're not, and then you're like, oh, she doesn't have any compassion, it's only about her. The fuck is wrong with you, man? You're, you're an actual fucking freak. You're a freak of nature, as that one person put. In my comment section. You are a fucked up person for even thinking that. Like, I'm sorry. Have you forgot your pills? Like, please, take your pills again. Holy, holy fuck. It's close. Intrusive would be more like, I want to throw this stale rock hard muffin at an innocent bystander walking on the street, preferably a child holding a... She wants to throw a muffin at a child on the street and this is what she says is an intrusive thought and this is the example that she gives to throw something at a child and harm the child balloon to see it topple over like a bowling pin while it walks and she's hoping that the child has a balloon and that the child will fall over which is the only thing that brought it joy that day and, and the child would be very sad so i found that a really strange example. I found that to be a very strange example. Motherfucker, you you use that to say, yep, this is my reasons why I don't think she has been sexually assaulted. And she seems to have no sympathy for animals that don't that do not get sexually assaulted. Actually, you're actually fucking sick in the head. Like that other video with that baby that confirms well i didn't know about this video until someone brought it up but what <laughs> you're actually sick in the head who who in their right mind would think about think this and go like yeah i'm gonna post this on the internet and yeah like that's actually screwed up
and this is why I hate it. Because I know it's rage bait, and I am falling for it. But rage bait, like, I know it's rage bait, right? But there's a certain point, there's a very fine line that you do not cross when you're rage baiting. Or don't rage bait at all. It's a shitty practice. But she goes way over that line. And it's just like, how far are you willing to go to get more views? Like, actually fucking insane. And then this baby comparison that happens. It's, she is, it tells you the true nature of her. She only cares about getting probably the revenue that she's getting out of this. And now that I bring up the revenue part of this, this probably is all about revenue all of this rage bait will bring in a bunch of people and she'll get a bunch of ads and what happens is those ads make you money so she like her coffers are being filled up like her piggy bank is overflowing of money because so many people are coming over because of these ridiculous ass videos and they're obviously pissed off and then they come in more ads, more revenue. So this is probably all about revenue. And then you got people like me that make videos on her and then more people see it and then more people come over, people talk about her. It's just a really fucked up cycle. And yeah, this is probably all over money. A million followers. She's Canadian like me. I can tell you she's single-handedly the most disgraceful, meanest Canadian. And I think she's not a Canadian because she doesn't fit under our stereotype that we're all nice and we say sorry and we say about a lot. See this? See this flag? This is all about maple syrup, saying sorry, and a boot, and snow, and polar bears. And personally, just because she's not uh, acting like a Canadian, I don't think she's a Canadian following her logic. Yeah, so she, I don't think she fits underneath this flag. Uh, with that being said, have a nice day, be safe, and I'll catch you later.